Hello, Trinity. This week on Sunday, Peter Sipple will be preaching on the story of the rich man who asks what he must do to inherit eternal life. The rich man says that he has been good. He has followed all of these commandments. And yet Jesus turns to him and says, you lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. This week, I've been thinking about what it means to follow a God who is not necessarily nice, but is always kind. I'll say that again because these words can be a bit confusing. We follow a God who is not necessarily nice, but is always kind. I want to attribute this insight to an article that I recently read on the internet blog Mockingbird. And this article is written by Stephanie Phillips. That article is titled, Never Nice, But Always Kind. And the article is, among other things, a theological reflection on the TV show Ted Lasso, for anybody who's familiar with that show. Phillips talks about how there are characters on that TV show who aren't necessarily nice, but are overwhelmingly kind and caring when the rubber hits the road. And then Phillips goes on to talk about how Jesus is that way too. Jesus isn't always nice. Sometimes Jesus flipped over tables in the temple. Sometimes Jesus told the disciples things they didn't want to hear. Sometimes Jesus says things like, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. These are difficult words, but they are suffused with love and kindness. Jesus gives the rich man honesty because he knows that that is what the man needs to hear. And let us not forget what the Bible says at the beginning of this passage, that Jesus turned toward the rich man and he loved him. He loved him first before anything else. God is not always nice, but God is always kind. And sometimes life isn't nice. Sometimes we face loss. Sometimes we are sick. Sometimes we have an important plan that falls through. Sometimes we are in the middle of a pandemic. But remember that in the midst of all of these things, God is still kind to us. I pray that we will find ways this week to recognize the kindness of God in big and small ways, because we worship a God who is not necessarily nice, but is always kind. We look forward to connecting with you soon, either in person at church this coming Sunday or in any way that you want to reach out. In the meantime, peace be with you.